All right, guys, so I want to answer a few questions regarding the building that uh, we had come through. So some of those questions were questions like, uh, how do we acquire the building? How did, what are we going to do with the building? Stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a rundown of how all this uh, managed to take place. And really, it was right place at the right time sort of situation. I discovered the building back in March of this year. And I had reached out to the owners. I found their property record card and contacted them. And so, yeah, reached out to them. And they said that they had big plans for the building. They were going to turn it into a rehab facility, um, like a vocational sort of thing. And But their CEO of their company had suddenly passed away. And they were trying to liquidate the building. Well, so I got a request for proposal that they had sent to me to, and I was looking through the terms and conditions and whatnot. I'm like, there's no way we can pull this off. There, there's just too many, too, too many, uh, boxes to check that we just really weren't comfortable checking at the time. Well, fast forward to August of this year, or is it July? One of the two months this, this summer was a blur. Um, we, uh, well, I reached back out to them. I said, Hey, I say the property record card has not changed. Did you guys find a buyer? Yeah, what's what's going on? So no, 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 we're in the process of donating it to the city right now. I said, okay. Well, I'm friends with the mayor. I happen to be on the local planning and zoning board for the for the town here. So I reached out to her. I said, hey, what's what's going on with the building? Oh, we're gonna demolish it. We're gonna do all these things and turn it in a bunch of put in a bunch of housing lots. I'm like, well, this is first I'm hearing of hearing of this, so. I thought, oh, I don't want to see this place get demolished. So I reached back out to the owners at the time, uh, the people that we got it from. I said, hey, the city's going to demolish your building if you give it to them or sell it to them or whatever. Oh, we don't want that. I said, well, I'll tell you what. We won't demolish it. We'll do something cool with it. And we'll make this place an icon in the community once again. So maybe not as a psych ward, but we're, 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 yeah, so we're, we're going to go into that here in a minute. So I said, okay, well, tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll take it, uh, on a simple buy sell, no contingencies as is, where is, and they said, deal. I'm like, cool. Fast forward about a month and a half, we closed. Um, so I think I might've ruffled a couple feathers at the city. Um, they say, they, they say we're all good now. So I'm just going to assume that we're all okay. And, uh, so what are we doing with the building? Well, we were going to start out by opening up for ghost tours, kind of like a haunted house sort of thing, especially with Halloween coming up. Well, Halloween since past now. Well, I decided to advertise on Facebook in the community group that uh, we're going to be offering some tours to interested people. Well, that got changed real quick when I got contacted by the Ohio State Fire Marshal. So not only were we ordered to stop, take the listings down, there was also stuff filed with the county prosecutor. So yeah, now I'm in a little bit of a uh, legal water at the moment, um, but I think we'll be I think we'll be fine. I shut down the tours and whatnot, so hopefully that all goes well. Um, because we didn't have a, they wanted us to get a change in use for the building, and I'm fine with change in use, but we got to know what we're turning it into for sure. You know, we can't get a change of use if we don't know what we're doing. So he gave us some options that we, some other avenues we can pursue in the meantime. So I'm going to, I'm currently digging through, I'm spending a lot of time here in the office, just digging through fire code, familiarizing myself with the laws and whatnot. Cause well, I'm not from around here. Uh, so moving forward, uh, what I want to see for this community uh, would be a some sort of a business incubator. This is one of the most pro prosperous counties in the uh, entire Appalachia region. So there is a lot of uh, the majority of this county is self-employed people, business owners, uh, my, mainly because of the Amish. Um, so what I want to see is like a business incubator, so we could uh, provide affordable office space, collaboration space, um, meeting space, just or just mixed commercial. That is what I think is going to be the easiest and best route moving forward once we have all the permits and everything sorted. Reason they came down on us so hard within the first month, I can only speculate. 
I mentioned that I might have stepped on a few toes. We might have stepped on a few toes because I do have two other people involved with the building, um, business partners, that have been essential in getting this pulled off. So, turns out, it's good old small town rumors. Where do I start on the rumors? I learned about this from one of the council members. Uh, And according to him, it was rumored that we were going to start a grow operation for marijuana. Not happening. Then the next one was an Amish strip club called Ankles and Bonnets. Oh, yeah, there was a name picked out and everything. Not going to (laughs) happen. I can't believe this. Then the other one was that it was going to be a place for Haitian refugees. And they were going to start cooking cats in the uh, kitchen. If that is not the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of in my life, that has got to take the cake. And uh, yeah, so also not going to happen. Whatever we do with this building, it's going to be good for the community, good for the area, good for the town. And uh, we're going to take this uh, take this building that uh, is is a good building, and we're going to make it better, and hopefully do something with it. So we got some good plans in the works. I'm excited to see what happens and what comes together. It's just a lot of waiting uh, waiting on people and waiting on paperwork and uh, calling back and forth with the government authorities there that we are dealing with. So. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, this is the Zero Zenith channel. We film a lot of just uh, raw, unedited, just things that we're interested in, uh, experiments that we do, just a lot of fucking around and having a good time and finding out sometimes. So, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, or don't. That ain't going to hurt my feelings. So, anyway, have a good one.